Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is all about how to draw a regular pentagon using the protractor and the ruler. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now if we talk about regular pentagon class, it has five equal sides and each interior angle must be also equal. So we have five interior angles. Now we don't have the value of each interior angle, but we have given side. So the thing that we will do class is we need to find first the measure of each interior angle for us to draw the regular pentagon. Once again, if the teacher will provide the measure of each interior angle for a regular pentagon, that would be a good thing for you because you can just simply draw the regular pentagon. But if it's not given class, you need to find the measure of each interior angle. So to find that, let me just explain this one. So we can find that one using this formula, the sum of the interior angles. Now if we have a pentagon class, not a regular pentagon. So if we have a pentagon, of course, this is not a regular pentagon because the sides are not equal. So we can find plus the sum of these interior angles. So we have five interior angles, but we can find the sum of that by using this formula. That would be n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So n there represents for the side. So we have five sides. 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So 5 minus 2, that's 3 times 180 degrees so 3 times 180 degrees you can use your calculator I think that's 540 so let's check that 3 times 180 so we have 540 degrees therefore any pentagon plus the sum of the interior angles it must be 540 degrees now since we have regular pentagon we need to draw regular pentagon therefore we need to divide this one by 5 so that the measure of each interior angle must be equal. So 540 degrees divided by 5. So let's divide 540 degrees divided by 5. So the answer is 180 degrees. So therefore, class, each interior angle, the measure is 108 degrees. Alright, so once you have the measure of each interior angle, go ahead, class. We can now draw the regular pentagon. So let's draw the regular pentagon. So first step, you draw a horizontal line that is 5 cm. Alright, so let's draw a horizontal line that is 5 cm. Alright, so this will be 5 cm. Line segment, that is 5 cm. So this will be the end point and end point. Alright, so we have the first side that is 5 cm. Now next step class is you draw another side. Now you need to find first the angle that is 108. Once again, this will be the angle here. And that would be 108 degrees. So we will be using the protractor from this last point. Okay, this last point. You put this point on the center part of the protractor. So this will be the center part. And you align 0 class in this particular line. Once again, you align 0 in this particular line. And then this last point will be the center part of your protractor. Alright, and this will be 108 degrees. So we have, once again, our angle, we start at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We have 110, so this will be 109, 108. Alright, and this will be our guide for the angle. Okay, this will be our guide for the angle. Once again, our angle, it's in, it looks like this. Alright. And our side, that is 5 cm. The measure of the side, so our second side, that is 5 cm. Alright, so we have 5 cm. Alright, so 5 cm. And this will be the last point. So you can actually sketch this one class with a ball pen. So let's sketch this one with a ball pen. So this will be, this will be our first side. Alright, and this is the end point second point and this will be the third point so we have five centimeter all right so second we have the second side that is five centimeter all right so next step class once again from this last point you align zero in this particular line in the protractor because this will be our second angle plus this one all right so once again use your protractor 
you align 0 in this particular side. And this last point plus will be the center part of our protractor. Alright, so you, there you have it. So you align 0 in this particular line and this will be the center part of our protractor. So we have angle 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40. So we have 110 and then 108. So this will be 110, 109, then 108. This one plus. And this will be our guide for the angle. So we have 108 degrees. Alright, so we have 5 centimeter. So this will be our guide. So let's have 7 to 2. 7 to 2, that would be 5 centimeter, right? Alright, so let's use the pencil. So 7 to 2. And this will be our last point. Let's check, class, if this is 5 cm. Yep, that would be 5 cm. And then you sketch this one with a ball pen. Alright, so we're done with the third side. So, first side, second, and third side. The next, once again, from this particular line, you align this one, 0. Once again, class, you align 0 in the protractor in this particular line. And then this will be the center part of your protractor because your angle class, it forms like this. Alright, so I hope you got that one class. So this will be the center part of your protractor and then you align zero in this particular third side. Alright, so there you have it. So we have zero, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then 100. We have 110 and we have 108. 108 for each interior angle. So we have 9, then 8, this one. Alright, so I hope you see this one class. We have 110 degrees, then 109, 108. This will be our guide for the angle. Alright, and then we sketch this one using our ruler, 5 centimeter for the side. So let's have 15 to 15 to 10. That will be 5 centimeter, right? 15 to 10. Alright, so 15 to 10. So let's check that. 5 to... Okay, let's have 6 to 1. So this will be 5 centimeter. Alright, so this will be our last point. And we sketch this one with a ball pen. So, 5 centimeter. So, I hope, class, you're still with me with this one. Alright, so we need to do this one, class, step by step. And last one, class, of course, this line, this will be 5 centimeter. So, let's check, class, using our ruler. Let's check if this is 5 centimeter. Yup. This is exactly 5 cm class. All set class. That's it. Alright, so this is 5 cm. Of course, this angle right here will be 108 degrees. That's it class. All set. So once again, do not forget to label because some of the teachers class, they will advise you to label your answer. So we have given side that is 5 cm. So this is 5 cm. Of course, this will be 5 cm. 5 cm, 5 cm, and then 5 cm. Alright, and then for the angle, this will be 180 degrees. So this is the angle. Right, so these are the angles. And this will be 108 degrees. So this is 108 degrees, 108 degrees, 108 degrees. 108 degrees and then 108 degrees. If you add this up, that would be 540 degrees. All set class. That's how you draw a regular pentagon using the protractor and the ruler. So the next part of our video class will be how to draw a regular hexagon using the protractor and the ruler. And I will just put the link in the description down below on how to draw a regular hexagon. Alright, so once again, I hope you learned something new today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day, class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.